There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable, a love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. Oh yeah, Yuri. How long has that guy been hanging there? Jealous, Amor. Maybe 12 hours? Is he still alive? Check if he's breathing. Ah, él está muerto. He's dead. He must have choked to death under that hood. Look at that boner. Mierda, I told you the hood was too tight. That's a big boner. I'm taking his pants off. Yuri. Ay, are you jealous of a corpse, Piscocho? What the hell, Yuri? Whoa, ooh. This that guy Cox thinks like shit. And he could have learned some grooming or something, but damn. It's like a chorizo that got rolled around in dog hair. Will you help me cut him down already? Or like somebody peeled a banana, covered it in butterscotch and, whoops, rubbed it on the barber shop floor? Yuri, knock it off. Oh, it's starting to sag. Now it looks like a toucan that hasn't shaved for a month. Amor, por favor, get your face out of there. El sueño. The Sicarios have found the escape prisoner in the village of Culta. What a wonderful name for a town. They were protecting him? Si. Sí. The village is known to Unidad as a haven for rebels. Why do these rebels even bother? Kill them all. The whole village. Visit divine wrath upon Culta and wipe it off the face of the earth. Claro, al rato. Camaradas, hermanos, fellow cocaleros. I look at your faces and I see the scars the men of the Santa Blanca have left on this land. Stealing our coca, threatening our way of life. Burning our houses, murdering our children, a trail of ash and blood. The blood of the people of Bolivia, the same blood that was running in the veins of Tupac Katari, the great Aymara leader who fought the Spanish conquistadores 300 years ago. We are tired, we are hungry. We are desperate, but this blood still runs in our veins. We are Bolivians. Mientras que respiremos, seremos libres. No weapon, no threat, no cartel can take that away from us. I look at your faces and I don't see cocaleros. 
I see warriors. I see resistant fighters. I see the seed of this freedom that we Bolivians hold so dear. We will oppose them. We will fight them everywhere. We will hunt their worst nightmares until one day they are forced to leave our sacred land. Today, I am not a cocalero. Today, I shall be called back Katari. And I take an oath to lead us, the rebels, to victory.